Hey guys, it's Vera Wild, and I am back again with Dear Vera, where you send me your questions about cross-dressing. Now, today's letter, this comes from Matei, and um, it's a very quick question that hopefully won't take too long to answer. Um, I, do you have any hints for keeping wigs on one's head? Um, that it, Most wigs have built-in systems to try and keep them on your head, and I'll try and illustrate that. I'm not going to take off what I have on, but I'll open up another one and illustrate with that. Now, some of you, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you've seen me in this one before. Um, this is sort of my purple, sort of, uh, I, I think of it as my anime wig. Um, but what you'll notice is sort of inside here, there are hooks and straps. Now, the purpose of these is to tighten the the band around the head to keep it as snug as possible. So, there are these sort of little um, fabric notches all along here, different loops that you can place the hook into that allow it, and the tighter you do it, because there's two of these hooks, there's one on either side, and the closer you bring them to the middle, the tighter it's going to be, and that's something that you'll just ad adjust um, depending on the, the actual size of your head. Now, the thing to keep in mind is you don't want to go too, too tight um, because that that is gonna um, that is gonna end up giving you a headache. Um, so you do want to be cautious of that, but you still want it to be tight enough that it is going to stay on. So you know, if you wiggle around, you pull it, you you've got resistance. It just it doesn't come just sliding off your head at the slightest mo motion. Now, depending on the kind of wig you have or how old the wig is, the straps may not be cutting it. Um, they may not hook well, they may not stay in place, or if it's uh, a wig that's a little bit older, the, the, there might not be a lot of strength in the elastics left. Now that doesn't give you a ton of um, options for other things. There are, of course, um, you can use um, hairpins, um, and, and clips, and, and things of that nature that you would sort of, um, actually, you know what, I'll go get some and I'll show you. All right, there are these sort of clips or anything along these lines. Now, I mean, you've probably seen these sorts of things in uh, in movies used to pick locks and, and whatnot. That's a bit of a cliche. But what you would do with something like this is to basically put it through and intertwine it with your actual hair so that it's sort of pinning the wig to um, your actual head. Now, if you're using pins, if the uh, if the wig itself is not staying on, you're gonna end up using quite a few of these to keep it in place. And honestly, this is not a great solution for a lot of us because this doesn't really work very well unless you've got longer hair. If you've got short hair, um, then there isn't a lot for these to be able to grab onto, and they're not that effective. If you've got a little bit longer hair, um, you know, maybe something that comes down the face, if it's long enough for you to tuck it behind your ear, then this will this will probably work pretty well for you. I'm not a big fan of these, even when I had longer hair. Um, just because, I mean, they're, they're pokey, they're pointy, I, I lose them when I take the wig off. I'm not a big fan, but I've always had good luck with the sort of built-in system that's in the wig. Um, there are other things out there if you are completely bald, there is wig tape. Not something I have any experience with, but uh, it does exist. It is out there as an option if you need it. Um, and I think that about covers it. I guess the other thing to mention um, is, you know, whether or not to wear a, a wig cap. Um, I don't wear a wig cap. Um, I did when I had long hair. Um, again, just to keep everything uh, up and away and, and from showing through. But um, I, don't, I don't now because I, it's just one more thing putting pressure on my head and it, it tends to give me a headache. That's me personally. Um, if you've got longer hair and it needs to be tucked up, a wig cap is probably going to be essential. If you have shorter hair, there's really no need for it. Um, so I hope that uh, was helpful to you in terms of keeping a wig uh, situated on your head. So until next, guys, keep those questions coming.